All right, mini bike action. John here with my 2019 Vader. Um, today I just wanted to point out something about these Ally Express fully adjustable forks. Um, what I've been having a problem with is the lower bracket coming off. Uh, not coming off, coming loose. Excuse me. Coming loose down there. It's not threaded onto the lower, the slider part. It's not threaded onto that like some are. Some are just threaded all the way up and tightened down. This one is actually slid on and then bolted from the bottom, um, which I gather is effective, but it, could, it leaves room for something like this to actually happen. So when I was hitting the brakes or doing things, I could hear this knocking up there. Something was knocking in my front end, and this is what it came down to. Even though I've tightened these a couple of times in the last 3,500 miles, I've still had them come loose. So my remedy for it, and this is what I wanted to do a while ago, just hadn't got around to it, is I'm going to use red Loctite. I'm going to take and coat this with red Loctite, take up the gap with the red Loctite, tighten it all down, and that'll hopefully eliminate any more of this walking around. This stuff can probably handle the pressure pretty well uh, spread out in there. And uh, that's it for that thing. We'll see how that works. Um, you know, like I said, these forks are pretty, pretty good for the price. I did find that I believe that both adjustments do the same thing on these. Instead of one being compression and one being rebound, I think they're both like rebound maybe a combination of compression and rebound so they're not exactly fully adjustable and I also noticed that I really turn these springs up I turn them up like 10 10 turns or something uh, something like that but I turn them up a lot more than just a few turns like I was doing and the bike rides way better it's it wasn't it's not sagged down so deeply like it was. And that was some adjustments I made last time I raced. I might have said something about it. This bolt that they use to hold this thing together with. Oops. This bolt. They had a rubber O-ring on the base of it. So when you tighten this down, you weren't tightening steel to steel. You were tightening against a rubber O-ring, which is going to give you a false kind of a false torque, you know, and um, I didn't like that. So I'm going to put a washer on there that takes the space of the rubber O-ring so I know thread engagement will be the same. And all that being said, it should take care of my problem. Um, what else did I want to cover on this bike? Oh, oh, a nice way to jack it up. If you guys, I got this old heater on here to heat things up for me so it goes together well but to jack it up if you've got one of these stands for the back which I recommend I found that one for like I got a bargain on it they're, they're like 50-60 bucks for that stupid little thing but I think I got that one for $35 I just there was a sale or something on it I just happened to be there but if you put it up on the back there you take the front and this is where you'll get your if you put this any further back your bike will fall forward. The front, the weight of the front tire is too much, and it's too balanced. Your bike will, so you have to go off the, your valve cover here. Is what I do. The base of my valve cover on a jack, and there you have it. Now you can go to town on your front end. The bike, well, it's not hugely stable, but stable enough for me. I just, I'm just careful with it. So it's just one of those little. Uh, shortcut things or whatever you want to call it unless you're lucky enough to have the whole front stand and all that stuff so yeah I got a rebuild kit coming for it I'm going to do another cylinder and piston I could have just replaced the, or the piston but I thought no I'm going to do a new cylinder and piston because they're both probably worn a little bit and then I'm really thinking about a V2 head for this thing. I'm seriously considering it. I, I want to go back into next year with this bike on the track. I want it to have a little more power than it had. So that'd be nice.
We'll see how the V2 works. Kind of a toss up between getting a V2 head or a whole nother engine. You know, because they're both going to be in the same price vicinity. Got all my stuff fixed from the crash. Um, right down to my levers and stuff. These parts are all available, which is nice. So if you buy these rear sets off eBay, these parts are available on AliExpress. Maybe on eBay if you could find them. I couldn't. So... Yeah, that's the rear set stuff. Um, and I did end up putting my intake. So my intake breathes through this vent. I put a screen, metal screen there. And uh, all the intake comes through that opening, which is, you can hear it. As soon as you throw it on, you can hear a deep wall. Kind of neat. Pretty cool. Gives you cold air all the time, too. Um, that's all I wanted to say about this guy. And if you guys get those forks, beware. Number one, they loosened up on me. So being loose is one thing. Being slightly, being tightened down but still having wobble, making a knock noise is another. So you definitely want to check them for tightness. I recommend taking out the rubber O-ring. It was a bit of a gamble taking that out because I didn't know if this thing was going to let oil come out. So it doesn't. The, the leg is sealed off at the bottom and threaded. All right. Enough said. You guys take it easy. Thanks for all you subscribers, man, that come on. You know, if it's possible that I'll reach a goal to where I can actually get some ads and, you know, put the money back into the bike or some way of, of filming it better. <laughs> filming the work better than with the cell phone. Uh, but thanks a lot, you guys, for, for and your nice comments and stuff. You know, I also would like to see people, um, if you have any questions or if, yeah, if you want to see something done to the bike that you've seen, that you was thinking about, um, I'm open for ideas. I don't know what's left on this bike. I've pretty much gone through it, but. I've seen some trick headlight things done. I've seen other things, so there's still possibilities. And so anyway, you guys, take care out there, and uh, Vader later.